Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Shouts out to um, Joseph uh, DeVito. You know, shouts out to Joseph DeVito. And shouts out to uh, all the new subscribers, man. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for listening to my channel. Uh, and, uh, you know, you know, just thanks for listening, man. I, I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate your time. Uh, yeah, go ahead and check out uh, DeVito's uh, channel, man. But, yeah, man, I'm trying to finish this cigar, man. It's Don uh, Pippin uh, Garcia, man. This is good. This is good smoke, man. Uh, good stick. That's what we call it, good stick. It's trying to phase out on me, man. It's trying to phase out on me. Yeah, man, I don't want to die on me trying to get a few puffs in. But anyway, man, let's get into this video. Yeah, man, I was listening to this YouTube channel, man. I was listening to this YouTube channel. I'm not going to say the name, but they were going in on, you know, these two heavyweights, man, you know. Talk about Dillian White and Lucas Brown. But pretty much calling them bums. Bums, man. He was calling them, he was, you know, the guy was calling them bums. And I have to say, man, you know, I've been saying it for a while. You know, in the heavyweight division, out of all the divisions in boxing, the last thing you want to do is call these guys bums. It's not too many active heavyweights, you know, in boxing. You know what I'm saying? You got guys coming in and out. Uh, you know, personal issues and stuff like that. But these guys were able to hang in there and apply their trade, you know, as professional boxers. You know, these guys are prize fighters. You know, they fight for money, man. You know, and even Derek Tazur, you know, he said, man, you know, you pay me a check, I get in the ring, you know, the right amount of money, you know. Cause that's what he does, you know what I'm saying? He fights, fights for cash, you know. Win or lose, you know, he's going to show up, and he's putting his life on the line. And I just think it's um, uh, a disservice, to, you know. If you claim you're a boxing fan, it's a disservice to call, you know, Lucas Brown, you know, a bum. You know, he was, he was, he was called a doorman from what I heard, you know. I, I had to stop. I couldn't listen. It was kind of long-winded. I, I you know, but I I heard all I needed to hear. And um, anyway, getting on Max Keller, man, and stuff like that. <laughs> and so I listened to the video that the uh, the individual was referring to. You know, I was like, okay, let me check out this video with this dude's talking about. It was on Fight Hype with Max Keller, man. And I'm trying to think about like what what did Max say wrong? You know what I'm saying? It was like a three minute video, and. <laughs> He made sense. He made common sense, referring to how Dillian White has a limited amateur background and hasn't been in boxing long. These are two former MMA fighters. These guys were mixed martial arts. I think he was in kickboxing. Hell, uh, Lucas Brown, he was in kickboxing. He was in MMA. Got got his butt handed to him versus, uh, I think it was with Daniel Cormier, whatever that guy's name is. And he was trying to do the cage fight and stuff. And, you know, just discredited Lucas Brown as being a, a, a lame duck, you know, uh, doorman and whatnot. For one, you know, I, I, I did security myself. For one, you know, uh, those guys are putting their lives on the line, too. And it's, it's not all about fighting and, and whatnot, bouncing people out. People just assume, like, you just bounce people out. No, you got to talk people out, you know what I'm saying, you just can't lay hands on everybody and stuff like that, you know, you got a lot, a lot of liabilities and uh, lawsuits going on, and then not only that, at the end of the day, you know, when when, <laughs> when that, um, that bar or whatever like that restaurant closes up, you out there by yourself, you know what I'm saying, so, but anyway, you know, this dude's no matter what you think about him, you know, he, he just can't be calling everybody a bum, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the heavyweight, these guys train, 
Um, you know, they pay for camps and stuff like that. Um, and hell, you know, people don't even want, they don't want them using performance enhancing drugs or anything like that. You know, they got to remain clean, um, remain patient and stuff like that. These guys dealing with a lot. Uh, they got work, they got kids and stuff like that. And this, and, and, and they, and, and people wonder why we don't get the fights, you know, that we want or why these guys don't stay active. Because that's the, I mean, these guys are highly ranked and all these little governing sanctioning bodies and stuff like that, getting all these trinkets and these Commonwealth belts and these, you know, um, uh, Southeast Asian intercontinental belts and stuff like that, fighting the who's who, you know, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't know anybody's background and stuff like that uh, and, and, and whatnot. And, you know, they putting their lives on the line. And and all, all, all people can say, you know, uh, just because you don't know who they are or you, or you don't uh, rate the people that they fighting that the, the, to get themselves up in the rankings and stuff like that, you, you just label them a bum. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Um, but but yeah, man. You know, at least not in the heavyweight division, man. It's only like go on box rec, man. Go go on box rec, and 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 just look at all these guys' records and stuff like that before they actually get to fighting the the so called you know cream of the crop. You know what I'm saying? You know, this guy took a loss, took an L in his career, you know, fighting Anthony Joshua. Um, supposedly, he supposed to have a, a shoulder injury and all this other stuff, but, he, you know, he kept fighting, you know, referring to Dillian White. Um, you know, he took an L, and now he fought, you know, he fought Robert Hellenius, former uh, champion. Then he, he beats uh, Lucas Brown, former uh, WBA regular champ, you know. And the first thing, you know, somebody wants to do is call him a bum, you know. Excuse me. I, I don't understand that, man. I, I really don't understand that, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I really don't understand that. Um, yeah. And even even with Lucas Lucas Brown, he beat Ruslan Shigaev, right? You you know you gonna call that guy a bum too? You know you can say I mean go on box rec, man. Just just do box box rec, you know. Um, I think the um some YouTube channels used to do like a a critical look. I think it was EJ and. What was it? Boxing Beast and Rhymes and uh, Chris Caban and everything like that. They used to have the hangouts to do like critical look at, uh, you know, these boxers' careers, you know. You know, from the Klitschko's and a few other, you know, uh, you know, champions or well, like Lennox Lewis and stuff like that. Mike Tyson, I think Holyfield. And if you look at these guys, you know, records, like who who they fought and when they fought, you be like, you don't have a few question marks. They all got question marks, man. They got some serious question marks, you know, on, on their careers. You know, you, you, you can make a good argument that, you know, some of these guys got some, you know, padded records or they, they weren't all that great uh, and whatnot. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's just crazy, man. I mean, hell, you can do that with the uh, Anthony Joshua right now. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be the unified champion. You know, you, you gonna call him a bum? You know, uh, De Deontay Wilder. They talking about it. You got people calling Deontay Wilder a bum. This dude, WBC champion. I'm looking at his record. I'm like. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a Deontay Wilder fan. That's why I wanted him to fight Luis Ortiz. I mean, this this guy put in work. He fought Robert Hellenius, Lucas Brown, you know, guys that, you know, we aware of. You know, they might not be the best, but I, I didn't see Deontay fighting him. And Deontay Wilder, he, he just fought, you know, uh, what, Gerald Washington. I guess he got some kind of, you know, pedigree as far as uh, being a boxer or whatnot. You know, 
the main Severn, he picked up a belt. He got some amateur pedigree as far as boxing. Hell, Bermain uh, Stavern beat Robert Hellenius in the amateurs. But you just going to call him a bum too? That's not right, man. That's not right. So I'm not going to go on too long about this, man. But, um, you know, uh, credit to these guys, Lucas Brown, whether he's just fighting for a check, dude's kind of, you know, he's up there. But the young lion, Dillian White, did what he had to do, man. He just got him out of there. You know, he applied his, you know, his craft, man. He put in work, man. He, he, he rebuilt himself. You know, he, he's in the rankings and whatnot as far as being number one in the WBC. Um uh, he's uh, and, and then you know just on the scene, man. He's he just he, he's right neck and neck with Dominic Brazil. People want to see Dominic Brazil, Deontay Wilder, or whatnot. And Dominic Brazil, hell, he used to be a quarterback. You get what I'm saying? I think he comes out of the heavyweight uh, factory or something like that. He's supposed to be a product of the heavyweight American heavyweight factory. You know the same thing. Um, uh, who's that? Seth Mitchell came from. You know. Is Seth Mitchell supposed to be a bum, too? You know what I'm saying? Charles Martin. You know, these ex-football players, these ex-athletes. you know athletes. Uh, Sergio Martinez. Is he a bum? Because he used to be a soccer player. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he started boxing at 20 and whatnot. Is he a bum, too? You know? Uh, Paul Williams. Is he a bum? You know, he, he, he was boxing, but he stopped for a while. He got right back into it when he was 18, so uh, he doesn't have that gold medal and, and the amateurs and all the other stuff. But is he supposed to be a bum? You know, <laughs> Paul Williams, Paul the Punisher Williams. Come on, man. You know, like, 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 get real with the, you know that bum thing, man. And then the, the guy, uh, Jer- Derek Chisora, just fought. Is, is he a bum, too? You know, it, it didn't look like he belonged in the ring with Derek Jazor, but he was brave enough to get in the ring, you know, for whatever he was doing for. I mean, they prize fighters. They fight for money, you know. So, I mean, man, we, we just got to stop, stop with that, man, especially in the heavyweight division. It's, especially on check box record. I mean, it's only like 1,200 active heavyweight heavyweights 1200 active heavyweights you know at, at difference and at, and every heavyweight is at different points in their career and they, and they they working themselves up you know they building themselves up to be contenders or fringe contenders or uh you know champions and and whatnot you know so Deontay Wilder worked himself up Lucas Brown worked himself his, himself up uh, to get in a position, yeah, he, you know, he, he, he did drugs and everything like that, you know, PD, he, he popped hot a little, at least twice, but he popped hot too, you know, he claimed some over-the-counter stuff, you know, dealing, referring to Dillian White, but, um, yeah, man, I can, I can see why a lot of these guys are holding out for, like, big checks, man, because everybody's quick to call them a bum, they disregard them, and, you know, uh, you know, th- throw them away like trash, man. Look, look, look. I mean, look, and, I mean, look at Ruslan Shagayev, man. W- where is he at? Where is Ruslan Shagayev? Where is uh, 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 Angulo? Where is Angulo? Uh, I forgot his first name. Um, Andrade. You man, remember Andrade? You, you remember? Almost got Lucian Butte out. You know, Lucian Butte, he's gone. He's, you know, these guys c- come and go. And, you know, all all people do is just call them bums, man. Oh, he's nothing. He's a bum, you know. And, and, and like Andrade versus Lord, man, that dude, I was popping out of his socket, man. You know what I'm saying? That dude's eye was pop- popping out of his, his socket and stuff like that. And... First thing people want to do is call him a quitter and shit. <laughs> Excuse me for cursing, man, but I was like, you know, he, he capitulated. You know what I'm saying? That's what he did. You know, I mean, 
The dude fought his heart out versus uh, Ed Islani Laura, man. Come on, man. And the first, you know, was he a bum too? You know what I'm saying? Who did he fight? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, all right, man. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. Let, let, let me know what y'all think about that. Is Dillian White a bum? Is is Lucas is, is Lucas Brown a bum? Is Deontay Wilder a bum? Um, is Anthony Joshua a bum? You know what I'm saying? I, I guess he. I, I don't know. Maybe because Anthony Joshua lists weights and he's got the seal of approval from all these uh, sponsors and stuff like that. You know, he won a gold medal. Um, but a lot of people criticize him and his 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 career. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could look at. I mean. Look, who would he fight? Charles Martin. He's supposed to be the worst heavyweight. Charles Martin's supposed to be a, a a a bum. You know the Glashkoff guy. He fought. He ain't never come back ever since ever since that knee injury and stuff like that. Is he, he's supposed to be a bum too? Wasn't wasn't that a decorated uh, Olympic f- fighter? You know what I'm saying? So y'all y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Who, 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 Who's the bum and who's real and, and whatnot? You know what I'm saying? Because um, these these guys in the heavyweight division, they can only fight who the hell is there. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all they can do. You know? All right, man. Catch y'all later. Bye.